Hi, my name is Hal Gumbert with Camp Software, and I would like to show you how to migrate your data from prior versions of the Art Licensing Manager into the latest version. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we're currently running version 2.15, and we have the ability to import from version 1 or even from version 2 from earlier versions. In fact, you can even migrate from the same version to the same version. If you think you're having some sort of data corruption problem, one method to possibly fix it might be to migrate it into a fresh copy of the database. So if you are using the version 1, which the interface is completely different, a lot of blue and white rather than the silver look, uh, you'll want to choose the migrate from version 1. The process is the, is the exact same. You'll choose the, your FileMaker database and then it will do the importing. So I will choose migrate and here it gives you a little bit of information on what is going to happen. It mentions that it's you're about to migrate to this database known as the destination from a previous database known as the source and after pressing continue you'll be prompted to select the source file for the migration. So we click that and I just made a copy of the .usr file. When it asks you um, to do the migration if you're using the runtime version which we distribute from our website, you'll want to choose the .usr file that is inside that folder from the your current version or whatever whatever version you're using. If you are using the standard version of FileMaker, this will be a .fp7. So I will choose this file and choose open. And this the second file is opened up and it's not registered, so I just need to click continue, and it will move the other window to the back and you'll see a progress bar in the upper left hand corner and if any of your tables are large for instance your art table if it has many images in it it may take a few minutes for it to um, to import so you'll see a second progress bar appear telling you how long that particular step is going to take and at that point it's done. So it's telling us that it's still not registered because we registered from a non-registered version to this version. And that's it. Migration is complete. 